Hello guys, um, so we're going to dive into this book um, effects tutorial. Um, really, really simple. I have my book here and I have my plane. So select the plane and we're going to give it a rigid body over here and make it passive. Let's click on passive and that's fine. And this is our book. So we want to spawn books. Let's say we want um, three books thereabouts. Set the count to three. Enable physics. Um, we can leave force at zero and just click on shoot. So that's one, two, three book like that. But they're kind of spawning into each other, which is causing this weird effect. So I'm going to undo and under grow, we want it to move upwards a little each time it spawns. So I'm going to duplicate the book and move it up a little. And you can see we're just going to take note of the distance over there 0 0.077. That's the thing that's fine. I'll use 0 0.06. So on the location, click on Z, 0.078. Marvelous. So now when you click on shoot, it will spawn the books um, like that. We can see they're all spawning at the exact same time. We want an interval of like one. So I'm going to increase the interval here. And let's say you want it to spawn every five frames. Click on shoot and it will spawn every five frames. So I'm just going to set this to one. Click on shoot and I think that's fine. Now, um, we want it to scale down when it spawns. I'm just going to set the scale to, let's say, minus 0 0.03. Copy that. You can come here, paste it, come here, paste it. But I never do it that way. It's really simple. You just click on this and drag down, and you can edit all the values. So let's say minus 0 0.05, like that. So just click and drag down. It works, it works with all menus in Blender, so you can adjust scales and rotations that won't be the same thing um, so now with this scaling down let's see how that looks click on shoot you can see they're all scaled down a little I'm gonna undo and in render view we can enable lights I mean if I shoot right now they'll all shoot normally but if you enable light and yeah if you enable lights and shoot then they'll all spawn with this light effect each new book okay so another thing is if you want multiple books like you want multiple spawn groups like um what you want one two three then one two three four then one two three four five that kind of thing what you would ideally do is separate the books first the ones you want to spawn separately just move them aside and start by shooting the first guy so we have our one two three that's good one, two, three. So this next guy wanted to spawn from, make sure it's um, higher than this guy's, let's say his highest point, so around here. Make sure it's higher than that, so that it doesn't spawn underneath it. So let's move this guy down a little, scale him down, and um, we can add a rotation to it as well if you want, so I'll just rotate it by like five. And I'll make this one not scale down, so I'll set this all to zero. It's just going to uh, rotate. And wherever you are on the timeline, when you click on shoot at that point, um, that's where the shooting will start from. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five. So I'll make the count five and click on shoot. I think, okay, we need to adjust the location because the distance is no longer as big as the first guy. So I'll duplicate him and move him up. And you can see the distance over there, 0 0.03 thereabout. So I'll change this to 0 0.03 and shoot. So now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And we can now have this other group will now come in around here. Um, let's make sure it's lower than this guy. So you can see this guy starts from around here. So we'll need to do it higher than this point. So I'll move this guy up a little bit. I'll show you what happens if we do it from around here. For now, so I'm going to adjust it so that you don't have to worry about these new heights anymore. Um, but this is what it's like if you shoot from this height. You can see the other books kind of collide with it and it gets stuck because it's underneath um, the book. So what you want to do instead is just make sure it's higher than this guy's highest point. So let's move it around here. Okay, and then from this height. We can now say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can do the count of seven. And we can increase the rotation to eight. 
and I'll scale it down a little. Check the distance, the height of the book, 0 0.022. I think I'll add a function to do this so that you don't need to keep checking the measurements. I'll add it to the next update. So you can just click on something here and it sets the distance to a reasonable height. Okay. Um, I'm also going to add more functionality so you can adjust the physics settings like the bounciness and things like that of the spawned objects. Um, yeah, so just watch, watch out for updates. I'll click on shoot here at this point. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and yeah, that is basically it. Um, that's how to use shoot it. Um, I'll do another tutorial next, which will be another um, use case. And you can adjust, you know, global physics settings from here, like the steps. So it solves a bit better. So I'll increase it to thirty. Uh, one, two, three. So you can see it's much more stable as I've increased the steps over here. Um, you can also adjust the speed, 0.5. So you can see it's slower. And you can triple it if you want. So yeah, that's basically it. Have fun.